Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a book bar for Lola Loopsy themed. So, first of all, what you're going to need is pictures of Lola Loopsies, as you can see like this. I have two of the same. What you're going to do is craft, you can, if you want your bookmark to be on both sides, so hecto vessel, you need two photos. So I took two of the same photos, two of these. What else you're going to need, you can use any paper we're using scrapbook. The same thing, you're going to need two of them unless your scrapbook paper is on both sides. So I have two of these. What else you're going to need is scissors. And also it's this to cover books. Um, it's a little paper that's see-through and shiny. Makes your paper nice and silky. And yeah, you're gonna need glue. So we're just using Elmer's. And, yeah, you can use any glue. It all works. And we just took this for a little decorations. So since our pictures, Suzette looks like we have an S. And plenty of little things to stick on as a finishing product. So first of all, the first step is finding a photo. So we found this one. Second of all is cutting this into the shape of a bookmark. So you can see, this is the shape of a bookmark, but you're gonna want to double it. As you can see, you're gonna double it. And as you can see now, it's the double, and you just want to fold it to its equal measurements. So you have both sides silky and shiny, and you're going to stick this afterwards. So once you have that cut out, you're going to want to cut out this scrap of paper into the shape of your bookmark, but a little smaller, so when you stick the two papers together, the bookmark will stay in there, and it'll be stuck because of the outside, the inside is sticky. So after you have two of these, what you're going to do with glue, you're going to stick your photo of Suzanne onto here like I did here, and that's how it's going to look. So I'll do this one right now. Okay, so here you're going to want to turn it around. It doesn't need to be the same exact length, but you can maybe try to have it looking the same. Okay, so you have these little pieces that can go up. It's fine because anyways you're going to stick them together with this piece. So now what you're going to want to do is glue these two paint, fold them, and glue them on top of each other. This is just so they're equal about and you won't have like ends passing. If you would just put one stick it and then the other stick it, this is what makes it look equal. So we're going to make sure we have the Suzette's on the right side, both sides, and then we're going to stick. So now that we have it, if there's pieces that pass by, you can just cut them off with the scissors. Here. Like that. If I cut a little bit of the photo on the side, that doesn't really matter. Okay, we're just going to want this piece equal to. like that. We're going to move our extra pieces and now we're going to take this to stick a part off. So I might be really terrible at this. This video might take very long. probably experienced covering your books for school, so yeah. ask them. Okay, so once this is done like this, you can see that we've got a lot of large edges on the side. We're just going to cut them, but not to the end, because then there's going to have no more stick. So just cut them on the sides. Um, here, it's like sticky on one side. 
So you're gonna want to cut over there. Sorry, you cannot see this. Wait, okay, that was coming. Okay. Okay. Even though it's not equal, it doesn't matter if you read books a lot. It's just a bookmark. You can. We're going quickly right now, so it doesn't matter. But here, look. You can see this. Whoops. It's a nice bookmark like that. And now to make it a little more fancy. Oh dear. You can add the sticky stuff before or after when there's a gloss after. This is a tricky thing. So, five-year-olds out there, ask your parents to help because this is a very hard path. Okay. The pins are easier. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So be careful with the pins. You don't want to poke your finger. Okay. Well, here we go. You. This is nice and sweet and simple on this side. And then if you want, you can put like even another little on the other side. Like that, or here. Uh, here. Or, and then you can put another one like this on the other side. Like that. Like that. And like that. That's a nice, cute little decoration. You can have like that. Like, I'm going overboard on this. So, oh my God. like that. Okay, so now you have that little pretty design on it. If you guys want to see like that. Okay, and it's on the side. It's about nine inches long. It's a little too long, but I don't know. The usual should... book is that big. It's average size. Yeah. So, let's um, see. Here, we'll take it with It's that. a hand, so just one hand long. Here, just okay. with the magazine, you can just put it in there. My mom uses color things from Benjamin Moore. I think she'll get a new one. We can throw this in the trash. Okay, we can put this in here. There you go. Okay, so I just made a new bookmark. Like we showed you before, we had the Susan the Sweet one. Okay, that. So I made, and then I just made one two seconds ago. It has two pictures on it, and the back I put a 15. What happens is, where I tested it, so you can put, this is having the letters outside. This time the letters inside. What happens is, it bubbles on top of it, like the air is stuck. But it's cool, like, feeling. But the thing is, you have little, like, lines. Like, it doesn't really matter. It looks cute, too. But I would consider doing what Joy did and having it the best. Um, what I also did is, I cut it out and I made it, I made a, like, a long strip and then I folded it in half. So that I didn't put any sticky on this side so I can put things in my bookmark. Yeah, so that's what happens. That's the bookmarks, and that's the two different types you can have.